Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make this exact result in Blender using volumetric nodes. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching to Cycles Render for better volume shading. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it, if not just keep using the CPU. And then I'll set the number of samples to 300. Okay. And then next, we can delete the light source. So press X to delete. And then we can open a new window by dragging the top right corner. And we can edit the material. So let's go into the shader editor. And then delete the uh, principled BSDF. And then press Shift A. And we're going to add the principal volume, which we need for volume shading. And then connect volume to volume. And then we're going to connect a uh, bunch of uh, textures to create some interesting volumetric patterns. And because the uh, principal volume will have some emission, we can make the background completely black. And the first texture that we will add is the Voronoi texture, which is a uh, type of noise texture. So let's uh, connect the distance to the emission strength. And we're going to use this node to uh, control both the emission strength and the emission color. Let's set it to 4D for some additional options. And then we can uh, set the scale to uh, 5 for now and set the randomness to 1. To generate some uh, clear noise patterns, we will use the color ramp to separate the uh, noise. So uh, let's uh, change the color ramp type from linear to constant. And as you can see, that gives us much cleaner patterns. So let's set the location to uh, 0.76 for this one. And then we need to add an additional color. Let's make it white. So we have black in the middle and then white on both sides. And that way we can add two colors to the uh, principal volume shader. And to add some additional contrast to the uh, pattern, we're going to add a uh, bright contrast node and put it in the middle. And then we can set the contrast value to eight and increase the uh, brightness as well. By changing and moving the color stops, you can also change how the uh, separation of the noise looks, but we're mostly going to focus on that later in the tutorial. Okay, so next we need to add another color ramp and we're going to use this one to add the colors to the noise. So let's duplicate the color ramp and remove one of the color stops. And then we can connect the color to the emission color and then the distance to factor. The first one will be orange and then blue. You can of course add whatever color you want. And then let's press Control Shift S to save our uh, progress, which is the same as uh, Save As under File, and then Save As. Okay, so uh, next we can change the position of uh, the orange color or the orange top in the color ramp to uh, 0.62. And then we're going to add another node, which is the Musgrave texture. And the Musgrave texture is basically just a different type of noise texture with some additional features we can use to improve our patterns or at least make our patterns even more interesting. And you can, of course, change the scale and play around with the other parameters. There is no right or wrong value, so uh, just play around with them and see what gives the uh, most interesting abstract patterns. And I'm going to make the colors a bit darker 
because right now the strength of the emission is a bit too strong, which ruins the pattern. And then next, we will add the noise texture, which adds noise to the uh, volumetric shading. So uh, let's decrease the scale a bit. To something like this, where we have clear patterns. Increase the detail and set the roughness to zero. And then we can increase the uh, distortion value to uh, add some complexity to the shader. And then next, let's add a mapping node to control the location, rotation and scale of the noise texture so that we have more control over these uh, factors. So uh, let's try out a uh, location of 60, for example. And then let's increase the rotation as well, just to see how it works. And then at the end, we complete the line of nodes by adding the uh, texture coordinate node and then connecting the object output into the vector input of the noise texture which as you can see looks great and then now let's uh, save one more time okay so now we have all of the nodes that we need for the abstract volumetric patterns so what I would recommend to do now is just to play around with the color stops, the uh, different parameters, and even adding some additional nodes, and uh, try to get some interesting results that you can render out later. And then once you are happy with the result, you can uh, set up the camera for the uh, final render. So press number one for front view, and then press Control Alt Numpad Zero for camera to current view, like this. And then you can press N, go into view, and uh, lock the camera to view to move the position of the camera. And then I'm going to set the dimensions to uh, 2K by 2K. And then you can press F11 to render. And this is the full node setup. If you want more tutorials like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel, as well as similar channels like Ducky3D and CG Matter.